Welcome to very fit, happy Fife Ice Arena tonight where the Flyers have got the second league, league win of the season with a great 4-4 win over Brayhead Clan. With me tonight I've got Flyers coach Todd Dutiam, I have man of the match and hat-trick hero Mike Hamilton and we also have a word with Brayhead coach Frank Morris. Todd, congratulations, a fabulous result for you. Um, m more, many more to come I hope. Well hopefully we can build on that. I mean I think tonight's performance was... Um you know a lot different than one we've seen recently I think we came out I think uh, you know we took the initiative went after him and uh, you know certainly for two periods they didn't have the answer it looked like and uh, you know it was it was good to see the boys uh, you know up like that because you know it's we know what they're capable of and uh, you know it's great to get a win here yeah. I thought at times, especially you say the first two periods, they looked like the team with the six imports I thought our play was very very good crisp and fast and open yeah, I mean, that's what we've been looking to get. I mean, you know, last week our, you know, our imports were criticized a little bit for maybe not performing as well in the Edinburgh game. And, you know, my defense to that is that, you know, we can't rely on three or four guys every game. But on the flip side of that, certainly you see, uh, you know, the Hamilton line tonight. I think that uh, they were outstanding. I think that uh, whatever line they'd be playing up against in the league, they'd be considered one of the best. So, and that's why we brought these guys in. That's what they're capable of. So, you know, if we get a few more guys in here and give them a little support, I think it takes the pressure off them, and we get a we get a lot of better performances out of them uh, night in, night out. And the goals are all good goals. They weren't scramble goals. Good hockey goals, I felt. So they're clearly not to the goals are great. I think so too. I mean, I think you know, like. I'm not one to say like, oh, luck this, luck that. You know, I think we have been unlucky a little bit and, and, and uh, you know, having trouble getting shots on net. But I think the shot count was quite close uh, tonight, which was, you know, another good statistic for us. And, and, and you're right, uh, you know, these guys are starting to break out and, uh, and score some really nice goals. Yeah. Well, it's also very strong in defence as well tonight. Um, that they play well. It was a cracking goal that Danny scored, wasn't it? it was a yeah. Oh, Danny had a tough night. I mean, I don't think that, uh, I think that um, Danny gets overlooked sometimes. I think that, um, you know, uh, his work ethic is second to none. I think he's certainly, you know, what the Flyers are all about. I mean, he took an awful hit in the first period there, lost a couple teeth. Um, he's playing with an ankle injury already, and I th blocked a big shot there in the last minute of the game. So, you know, to me, Danny Stewart um, really deserves a lot of credit, and... Uh, you know what, uh, like I said, if we get a defenseman back there to give those guys a bit of support, I think we get even more out of a, a guy like Danny. And that defenseman, I believe, is not too far away? Yeah, well, um, I've agreed to terms with the defenseman, um, and uh, I'm hoping to announce in the next two days. Hopefully we can do it here. And, uh, you know, I'm just waiting for a work permit, and uh, I think it's a big boost to the hockey club and the fans. And, uh, you know, I'm going to start looking, oh, well, I'm not going to start. I have been, I've been looking at his forward as well. So you had myself come back from injury. You get uh, a defenseman and, and the possibility of another forward. And I think that, uh, you know, the five flyers look like a different hockey club all yeah, of a sudden. Yeah. I think we've got to give a uh, special mention to the fans tonight because uh, they, they were loud. And when the building was jumping again, as I remember it, from days going by, and, and I think that, obviously helped the guys. The guys were playing with a smile on their face tonight. Yeah, well, I mean, I've been here for about 13 years now, and I mean, that was that was always something, even when I didn't play here, it, you know, they were like your extra man out there. And it, it sounds a bit cheesy, but it's true because, uh, you know, there hasn't been a great deal to cheer about this year. So, so when they have had something to cheer about, they are loud, and it's an exciting building to be in. And, you know, like uh, other teams have said that already, you know, you know, when the Flyers score a goal, the place erupts, and... Uh, you know, uh, you know, our goal is is to start winning you know, hockey games on a regular basis, get the crowds up to to the number that everybody wants them to be up to, and, and to have an atmosphere like that is fantastic. Well, Todd, thanks very much for joining us. A great performance, another great result. So let's hope we can just keep, as you say, building on that. Thank you very much and well done. Thanks, Alan. Yeah. Thank you very much. Th thanks for joining Flyers TV. Um, you'll be disappointed the team lost tonight, but uh, what's your take on the game? Yeah, well, we're obviously disappointed. Uh, you know, uh, we we obviously came here looking to take points because Fife's at the moment sitting bottom of the table, uh, and we've kind of hit a good run uh, of games recently. So, um, yeah, it was disappointing for us. But not you know not to take anything away from Flyers. I thought Flyers played very well tonight. They came out right out of the blocks, flying tonight. You know, and they 
they went uh, two nothing up right away in the game, and uh, we knew, I knew then and there that it was going to be a tough night. Yeah. Full credit to your guys. Though five went down, a lot of teams would have just you know given up at that stage, but you came back. And it was very, very nail biting at the end. I mean, you, you pulled your goal, you got the goal back, and you really had us on the ropes at that time. Yeah, yeah we, uh, we, you know, I think we left a little, uh, a little too late to actually pick ourselves up. But yeah, full credit to the guys in that respect mm. for uh, you know not giving up and battling back to to make it a respectable uh, score because at one point it, you know. Uh, I mean, we were what five one down, so uh, we, we we did what we had to do. But the thing, you know, the thing is, we can't we can't do that. We we have to play a full sixty minutes, not uh, ten minutes of hockey. Mm. Oh, well, well, thanks very much for the time you're taking to, to speak to us, uh, uh, Frank, and good luck for the rest of the season. Okay, thank Except you. When you play us, of course. Yeah, thank you, <laughs> Mike. Congratulations! A fantastic performance by not only the team but yourself as well, and deservedly you man of the match with three goals. How do you feel? Uh, I feel good, you know, it's good morale in the room right now. It's definitely big to get a win and, you know, it could have been a little bit easier. We slipped up near the end, but it's definitely good to get the two points. Yeah, well, they put us in a bit of pressure at the end, but I think it would have been an injustice in many ways if they did got that equaliser because we, I think we were the better team on the night, there's no doubt about it. Yeah, we came out with a good start and obviously we had a bit of an advantage without, without the game last night, so we kind of came out with good legs and... Tried to capitalize on that, and it's just a good thing we came out with the winner. It would have been would have been and a waste. It's pleasing for yourself. You got three goals tonight, but what about luck? Actually, you could have had a few more, couldn't you? Yeah, I had some good chances tonight, and yeah, if I would have bared down maybe a little more, I could have had a couple more. But mm -hmm. it's good that that was enough for tonight, anyways. So we've got the the new guy coming in next week. That's going to help, and I know Todd's looking for another forward. So things are looking better. We should build on this re uh, result and, and then take that into the, the future games. Um, on when we interviewed you on Friday, uh, when you did manage to get in a word over mark, <laughs> um, you were saying that you're confident you could catch, you know, th this playoff spot, and a result like that tonight it just proves you you're right. We can do it. Yeah, yeah. There's still lots of games left. You know, there's yeah. lots of points to be had. So if we keep working and uh, getting some wins, and you know, doing the dirty things to get those wins, I mean, you never know. We could be right in the mix. Yeah. Well, congratulations again, Mike, and thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. Right. Yeah.